Today I'm going to show you how to build a Maximera drawer for an IKEA kitchen. So I have one built already. We're going to set that aside and we're going to start from scratch and show you how to assemble it and a whole bunch of tricks and tips as to how to connect them, disconnect them, soft closures, how to figure out the rail heights and how to assemble the actual pieces of the drawer itself. Before we get into it, uh, keep in mind when you get your little package, and I have a video on how to read an uh, IKEA instruction manual, so, or I call it the ciphering, the old IKEA, what do you call it, hieroglyphics, yeah. So your build list is super important because it will tell you which cabinet, and there'll be a cabinet number and what parts associate with that cabinet. So where you find that information is in this little booklet that has the plan view and all your elevation views of your kitchen and it shows you your cabinet numbers and everything like that. So that's in that other video that I talked about is just how to read the manuals. The build list is handy. It tells you what part numbers go with what. So I have myself, I'm doing a two drawer unit. So it's just a 15 inch tall drawer and a 15 inch tall one on top because the lower base cabinets are 30 inches high. So that with the tall one goes with a high drawer. So there's a low drawer, medium drawer, high drawer. So we're doing a high drawer right now. In your, in your little manual or in your, out of your Maximera box, there'll be a manual that shows you all the different box configurations and it'll show you. So we're doing a two drawer front right now. So it tells you what spacings to set the rails at. It, these ones over here, if you have two with the little dotted line means the drawer hidden in behind. So it shows you how to put those rails in and if you look very carefully, it'll show you exactly what screw hole goes in what position. So those are important. It, there is a difference between a drawer that's set back and one that sits out front with a finished front on it. And it just shows you some pantry units and stuff there as well. Okay, but that's in that other video. So that comes in that manual or in that box and so does this. So this is the high drawer. So we're gonna get into it. We're just going to start right at the beginning. Shows you all your part numbers. And it comes with the drawer glides, comes with the soft closures automatically. And then really we just get into actually clipping this thing together. So you just, like anything, I'm not going to go crazy detail. You just got to watch and look at the pictures carefully because it shows you exactly how to clip this all together. So here, these tabs point back and this is the bottom groove that accepts the shelf. And then there's two square holes here. And I'll just flip that and that matches these two little nuggets in there. And you'll know right away. When they clip, they clip. And you don't want to mess that up because it's hard to get unclipped. So let me show you this one again. These two bottom ones go with this little square and this one below it right there. And once it's clipped, it's done, okay? And then I'll just follow the instructions like good little boy. Next, you wanna put the bottom shelf in. Now remember the grooves are downward and we'll show you that. And you notice how this looks all gray. That's an unfinished edge. So grooves down, finished edge out, unfinished edge to the back in this groove. And you can see these little notches here is where those dados in the bottom of the shelf slide along. So don't mind me, I'm gonna look a little goofy here. And you just wanna be a little bit careful I actually just like to get it started and then just lean it up, make sure it doesn't go out of skew too much. There, so that shelf fits nice and flush to the front of those rails. Okay, good boy. Now 
tells me to put a long screw at the back here, which I will do that. Yeah, you have to be a little careful. Gotta love the Phillips bits. Just be careful not to angle up or you'll come through your drawer. If you have lots of time, pre-drill that and it'll help you. So now we're at the stage where you need to be able to learn how to read these instructions. So this shadow part means a drawer that's actually like a pantry one that sits in behind other drawer units. So we're not doing that. We're doing drawer fronts that actually sit on top of the actual cabinet box. We're doing the second drawer because I've already, that drawer at the beginning of the video was the bottom drawer. So we're actually gonna do this second drawer. So I'm not gonna follow this way. Doing that one, I go to page 21. And it's just a subtle hole differences that, that make the big difference, okay? So here, you just wanna notice that these clips that go into the actual drawer, we're gonna use these two holes and leave the very bottom one blank. These bad boys, if you look in your picture, it'll show you that the tag is at the bottom. And that is this one. Then I'm gonna use these set of holes. Next step is to put these plastic clips on and just keep in, keep in mind that we're gonna use the very top hole and the second one. So there's a little bit of a different spacing there and it all depends on which layout or which drawer configuration you're doing. Time to put the front on. Now you should probably come look at this. So these clips go into this square channel right here. So line those up and once it clips in, you'll know. Bang. I had someone comment on one of my videos asking, you know, over time do the drawers get loosey goosey and all the parts start to wiggle and they don't because of, of that reason that just clips in and it's done. Now, here's an important tip. If you've done something wrong and you need to unclip the front, there's a little hidden Phillips little notch right there. So you get your screwdriver in there and just crank it and it pops that side out. Do the same thing here. Pry that little lever up and then you can remove that. That's super important. Super handy, because if you're a rookie and you mess up on the instructions, at least you can redeem yourself. Okay, next we're gonna just pop these in. And you'll know if something's wrong, if these don't fit properly, you'll know that your spacings are wrong and you, you maybe have to just check your instructions again. Then these top rails, I call them turnbuckles. They kind of sit in at an angle and then they just kind of spin and rotate in. Okay, and then, so these, I have a video on how to adjust all the drawers, but these are turnbuckles. When you slide these in, you can actually spin them in and out and that'll adjust your drawer front. Let's clip that in. Bang. So that's one part of your adjustment. And then there's two other screws here that allow you to adjust your drawer front, left, right, up and down. And not, not even the custom guys have that feature built in. Ikea does and that's why I love them. Now we just put this bottom bracky.
So if you ever have to take a drawer apart, don't forget about these. Now we're going to put the slides in. And if you look further in the instructions, it shows you how to adjust the drawer. Now, before I put the rails in, I'm just going to refer to this little manual. And we're doing a box similar to this one where we don't have two hidden drawers. We just have one hidden drawer at the top. So because this one is actually set back, I know that's a hidden drawer. So that's not the one I need to use. It's this one that's 13. And the reason I know that is because this one beside it is also the 13th hole. Now I got to get my old eyes on there and it's the bottom set of screws on the 13th hole. Okay. So I'm be, I've already installed the bottom rails, but this is hole number two. So our three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Bottom hole on the front. So that's this one here. Now they do have a stamped R on those for right. And same with these soft closures. So we're gonna throw these on. So this has an R on it. And these two little notches go right here. Before we get too carried away, I have another video on how to remove these. If you've already got it on, you need to remove it. This little piece of plastic, you need to pull it out so that you can unclip it because this will actually hit the rail and it kind of locks into this rail. So I have another video on that. And once they clip forward, they're done. And then now you have the soft close feature. Okay. So now we're going to install the drawers. So this is how you do it. You, you literally, I just put them back, I don't know, six or eight inches. Just kind of rest it down. I slide it back and I make sure it's level. It's not tipped up or tipped down. And it kind of feels funny. You almost got to force it on and it doesn't feel right that, that way. And then you pull it out all the way and then it should close nice. Now, if you've done your drawers correctly, you should be very, very close to flush to the bottom of your cabinet box, which we are. Ooh. Now this is the second height, which had a slightly different spacing and it's all to do with the different rail heights and everything else. Like I said, just put it on, slide it in, pull it out and then just tech check it. Now to pull off an Ikea Maximer drawer is I just like to get it out and I lift the front and then you kind of got to just Wiggle it, be gentle, but you kind of got to give it a little umph. It doesn't feel right, but it, it will come off. And then before we finish up, I am going to show you just the rails and how to figure out where to put the rails when you have a, a hidden drawer. For these glides, I want the 21st hole. I've got the hidden photo there showing me that this rail set back a bit. I'm using, there's a tiny little X that I can barely see. Bottom set of holes, middle hole on this line here. Second set of holes back. You'll know when you're actually doing it yourself. Okay, follow the directions like a good boy. Bottom row, middle hole. Twenty first row, but the, not the first set of holes. The one, these, the second set right here. So 
So that fits nicely. So before we end, I have a funny story for you. We shot an Ikea video the other day at a lady's house who had been living there for a few years and she was kind enough to let us in. But when she told us the story and she said, when I first lived there, obviously you gotta imagine there's a countertop and you can't see this drawer. She's thinking like, why did these guys, like what a stupid design, like well, how am I supposed to get my forks and utilities out of this? Like there should be a different drawer. And it was like literally like four or five hours later, they realized the hidden drawer. And it was like, ah, see, smart. The other cool thing is just side note is you can actually get it where it functions. When you open the drawers up, it lights up this drawer as well. So that's just a kind of a cool, unique feature. But anyway, that's the drawers. Uh, should be lots of info in there, how to adjust them, how to set them, and uh, how to understand the manuals.